fuck we monster had is that? Oh, I remember this guy. This is... <laughs> uh, not the stuff of space. <laughs> Welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake, and today I'm joined by Ben. Hello. And no one else, because Blink is a bitch. Blink uh, is, <laughs> just was like, yeah, I'll, this time. So we waited to this time. And he's not back. here. So he's not going to watch this. Still no messages from Blake either. Still no. Still no. Anyway. Uh, we've been abandoned. Second week in a row. Yeah. And this week there's no lore to talk about, so it makes me sad. That makes me happy. <laughs> How was your week, Ben? Um, I lost the final this week. So I finally lost a game playing Cash Tira. Oh, big. What were you versing? Uh, I played against Josh. Um, my hands were mediocre. My hands all screamed, you lose to an Ash Blossom. Oh, and it's so Josh, so I lost to an Ash it. Blossom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like my opening hand game one was three field spells. My opening hand game two was two field spells and a Cash Tira trap. And I was like, cool. Um, it was like that, but it was still Unicorn Lance. So I got ashed and impermed. So I set the Lance past. He went like full combo into um, Heat Soul because I ripped the Axis Code out of his extra deck. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then he declared attack onto, with the Heat Soul onto the uh, Kashira and I lanced his Heat Soul <laughs> in damage calc. And he, he like crashed and he's like, oh, okay, I scoop. And I was like, Oh, my hand did nothing else after this, so okay, sure, no problem. What do you mean? Oh wait, crash I crashed? Had, like he like so he went under. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then I still could play, but yeah. like I had seen him search hand traps. He added that ash back to his hand oh. and still had other stuff and I was like Fuck so. I have man. another field spot I activate, but yeah, sure, okay. Um and then we go to game three, at which point I didn't realise that you couldn't activate conflict if you don't control a code talker. So mm-hmm. I had a mind control I could have used to take the code talker. Um, could it be targeted though? Yeah, I think so. Was it um, transcode and heat soul? Or was no, it no, just no. It was just heat soul. Okay. Then yeah. yeah. So I could have like mind controlled the heat soul. So I could have like special my unicorn, taken the heat soul, and then just th- that kind of happened from there because I had a lance as well to like protect me a little bit. Um, I still don't think I get far, but. We could have gotten somewhere at the very least. Um, but knowing how conflict worked would have been a very big advantage. Yeah. Like, my hand was still pretty shit. So it's like, I don't think I, I win that game. But, yeah, that's where we were for, for this week. So three three dubs, and then I lost the final. How was your week, Nico, Jake? Eh, mediocre. Um, so, yeah, Brandon's still not tickling it for me. Well, after, think... after your inspired speech last week, we were like, I'm not going to go for Gwignol anymore. When we played, you immediately went for Gwignol. No, and no, I was no, like, no. But the thing about Gwignol is you're not going for it for its actual on-field continuous effect. You yeah. just want the foolish. So does it not just special summon Albaz from deck when your opponent... Gwignol? No. No. The... Oh, okay. So it doesn't special Albaz from deck. It specials no. Despia from deck. Yes. That explains a lot. I've been playing around that as if it special summoned Albaz from deck. Fucking mad. Because I was like, if it specials, specials Albaz, I lose my monster and then it's bad. That, that card would be so much better if it just specked an Albaz. Yeah, but it doesn't. Here we are. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's just not doing it for, like, it's fine. If I thin the deck down, I think it'll probably perform better. Um, but yeah. Are you, not, think... are you playing more than 40 cards? Yeah, I'm playing enough 48. Oh. I thought you were playing, like, the 40 card of lore build. No, I probably should, but I'm not. You probably should. Yeah. Yeah. But before I get into refining that deck anymore, I'm going to jump onto something else for a little while, oh. just to freshen things up a little bit. So I still haven't fully decided what that'll be. I have some inklings as to what it'll be, but we'll work that out as we go. I am going to continue summoning Cash Tira Monsters until I get bored of it, which is probably, like, two weeks away. I don't know. At the moment, I'm having fun doing my little control setups and being like you have the out you have the out I just lose tell you it works let's go hmm I'm however I, the, probably the biggest thing I'm torn on at the moment is I'm siding thrust mm-hmm. for the situation of like going first I can side D barrier thrust going second I can side 
whatever other three normal spells I have on my side deck and Thrust as well. So that's been my mindset on that. Until I came up against Josh and realized I don't have any good cards in my side deck for summoning great. So it's just going to be a case of just cross my fingers and hope I don't pair him or... Well, I feel like having the macro generally deals with most things yes. when you're dealing against Salad. That's true. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't have, like... I have Nib in my side deck. The Nib goes in going second. Going first, I'm like, I have a lot of dead cards. A lot of dead cards. Unless I put in D-Barrier called Xe, so you can't go in those Stalio or uh, Baguska. Seems a little redundant. You probably don't need to do that. Well, he could, if he linked one... If you guys, like, link one... Um, it's not that bad of an idea because if he links one has uh, the level 8 specs itself comes level 4 and special normal deck oh parallel yeah if he has parallel exceed it stops that play because otherwise there's no way that my deck stops that you're putting in D barrier in order to stop that yes there's not anything else you could think of and also if you but... just banish the link monster he has no zone to summon it to that's a good point I could just do that instead yeah, yeah. That is an infinitely better idea, Jake. Mm -hmm. And it can only activate once, can't it? So it can only Correct. Activate. Yeah, he can't then summon another one and do it again. Then that's my play. That's my play. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Cool. Anyway, solving Yu-Gi-Oh's life problems one step at a time <laughs> here on the podcast. Um, yeah, so I'll jump onto something else for a little bit and then maybe jump back onto Brand Edge. Um, I found another nemesis of mine in the format at the moment. Only one person's playing it, but it's obnoxious as fuck. Uh, Runic? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that deck. Yeah, it's Runic. It's cringe as fuck. Yes. It's, it's the way this functions, Jake, but I don't know why you're surprised by this. Yeah, but I don't like it. It's fundamentally the way the deck works is to be cringy as fuck. I still don't like it, though. So the thing is, you need to remember, they can't kill you. I know, they can deck you out. Just play recycle cards. There's only so man many of those you can play. Is there, like, a fusion spell that shuffles back from Banish? A fusion spell? Fusion anything that shuffles back from Banish? Rebellion Banished? shuffles back, but it's restricted to level 8 or lower, so you it can't also has back to be summoned. <laughs> yeah. Which is a problem. Yeah. Problem under the floodgates. It has to be summoned and not be negated, at which point you're already beating Labyrinth anyway, and you don't need to worry about decking out. Rooting. Um, ah, it's the same thing. Come from the same set. They do the same thing. They both activate floodgate, and then have a bunch of other cards go, Wee! Anyway, so part Except of the problem is is him. that I'm not building to beat Runic. I'm building to try and beat the actual problem. You also can't just play anti-spell. No. Well, you could, but you wouldn't. Can you banishment airship? No, you can't, like, banish it, banishment of vanities. That sucks. So, yeah, I don't particularly like bursting that deck. There's not a lot of responses to it, because even if you, like, evenly get rid of the floodgates, they still have the fucking field spell. And, and I'm not putting in, like, Cosmics and shit to deal with a deck. Especially when I'm not likely to see those Cosmics. True. Hear me out. You could play Half His Feather Dust style. I did. And Thrust. I was playing both of those. But I, don't see I, open, I, I, I opened the Dust monster style. Effect. Ah, it didn't work? No, because oh, you can just summon protect. the Protecting Monster. And it doesn't activate either. No, it doesn't. No, it just happens. Yeah. The bailings go boop. So you can do it under their own vanities. It's great. It's really cute. Do you mean majesties? Majesties? Uh, it's all the same thing. It isn't. It's very different. They're things. both just people who go... That's it. Let's go. Yeah, it's just making me more despondent about where this game is at the moment. And I really don't want to have to play cash in order to win. I don't want to play any of the trap decks. And I definitely don't want to play runic. So, like, you're left with very few options. Hear me out. You could play... Metaphys. Again, that's just a response for Runic. It also stops cash. They have a floodgate that banishes everything. Yeah, but they also like to banish things face down. And Metaphys do uh... stuff the turn after. So I get zero benefit. Yeah, but at least your stuff gets banished and it goes the turn after. Yeah, that's too slow. Wait, You'd be dead in cash era. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, by the time it comes around, it's like, oh, and I'm dead. Yeah. Mm. Plus, I do all that stuff in the standby phase, so, like, I blow up the board, and then they have no board, and then it's like, oh, okay, unicorn, 
get Theosis, Theosis, get Fenrir, bleh, 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 bleh. Can like, you Book of Eclipse your own Banish Bar? <laughs> I mean, the best you have is, like, normal summon Necroface and put everything back. When will Konami invent a card that flips the extra deck face down, uh, the Banish Pile face down? Or flips it face up? Probably never. It's probably not a mechanic they're particularly interested in. It'd be, like, one of those... St- Stupid, stupid cards that they put into the sets just as like bulk filler though. Mm-hmm. It's like a trap card. It's like flip all banished cards face down. It's dumb. I'm on to you, Kami. I know where you're going with this. <laughs> I know what they're doing. So yeah, we'll see what I end up playing. I don't know whether it'll be... Uh, hopefully I can get it built by Tuesday and that way Tuesday will suck less. It's going to be deck building night, Jake. Tonight, deck builds. All night long. Yeah, yeah probably. Um, You'll send yeah. a Lionel Richie in Just deck build Half of that can be true I won't be doing Lionel Richie <laughs> Why not? Zero interest He wrote a song about all night long Sure he did Yeah, you could listen to it while you deck build No Keeps you going Anywho uh, So in Master Duel we are now within the stage 2 of the uh, Duel's Cup um, I am in stage two at the moment. You are not. I you couldn't didn't be try. Yep. Yeah. No. Um, I looked at it and was like, nah. nah so this is the even. other thing that's making me question whether I end up building anything tonight because it does close tomorrow. So I might stage just sit two. on. Yeah. So it does um, make me wonder if I'll just grind on that for the night, see how well I can go. The other thing as well is that I'm very, very tempted to build that 60-card um, punk Ashizu thing I was telling you about. Yep. So it just looks, like, ridiculously fun. Yeah. And you can, like, you just put a bunch of shit that likes to be in the bin yep. in the deck, send it to the bin. It's going to be great. You have just reminded me of something that is supposed to happen today, and that is the OCG ban list. Sorry for oh, skipping yeah. ahead. Yeah, lots of stuff needs to go in the bin. Um, countdown timer, maybe. I don't know. We think this ban list is going to drop in about 40 minutes. Yeah, probably about the time that I'm packing up and leaving. Yeah, so it's like, it's probably going to go live frame. right as this podcast finishes. Our recording at the very least. Um, I personally think on the touch point of that, Grass Looks Green is going to get banned. Yeah, there's a few too many things at the moment that um, like to be in the bin. Yeah, that FTK is a problem. Yeah, and you wouldn't think so. Like, yeah. it seems like Tier Element and Cash have been taking up a lot of the attention of what's going to potentially be hidden in the ban list. But now this uh, Super Heavy Samurai FTK yeah. is... 60 card Super Heavy Samurai Burner Silf FTK. It's yeah. like... Also, there are events that I was just looking at that were just first, second, third place, all FTK. And yeah. Like, okay, sure. Well, well, the OCG doesn't hate an FTK. Yeah. Oh, the FTK won their first ever YCS. Mm. It's gross. So gross. Because they had penned FTK for a little while. Mm. And I think in OCG format, uh, Gemini, Gemini FTK, FTK is fully legal. legal. I believe penned FTK is still also fully legal. Um, Depends if they go on the same rules as... Like, if Master Duel's a comparable asset, yep. then it's not. If it existed in Master Duel, when Master Duel came out, we haven't seen it hit in the meantime. Then it's well, legal. this is the thing I'm questioning. I can't, I can't think if it's been hit in the meantime. But no, you need two of the Starting fusions, yep. and the of which Master Duel only has one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, typically the, the agreement in the OCG is, it's okay, guys, we won't play FDKs. But with this one, it seems to just be rampant. Maybe it's just because like the new stuff came out and everyone's like... <laughs> It's probably also because, like, you've got, like, these two camps of, like, cash tier or tier of man, I'm going to play this until it dies and yeah. there's nothing you can do to stop me. And then these other people have come along with these earth guys and gone, <laughs> oh, you think so? <laughs> what if I just won? <laughs> you want to mill? Me too. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to mill a little and you're not going to get a turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so potentially grass will go... Um, almost definitely they will have to murder Tier Element at this point. Yeah, Maybe gonna, some further hits to cash. I think they're going to put all Tier Element cards to one and all Ashizu cards to one. Uh, maybe we ban King of the Swamp? There's other cards that do it, they just don't add polymerization. That's the thing. Yeah. 
it's a problem. It's a big problem. I think realistically, you just have to like ban some of the fuses as well. Well, no, I thought I was like I thought they had the ruling over there where uh, the light one doesn't count as another name. There was a only king of the swamp that counts. Yes, there was a time where they were saying that. But then it seemed to just be in every deck anyway, or at least King of the Swamp seemingly is now just in every deck anyway. Yeah. Like, they banned Kit Kalos and they were like, how can we get around this? Can't really get around this. Let's just change the ruling. Yeah. <laughs> Enough people showed up to locals being like, this should work, that they were like, okay, guys. All right, well, let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Here you go. At first when they were like, oh, can I use Kit... Because you banned Kit Carlos, can I use King of the Swamp as material? Pooty pooty. And they're like, ah, oh, there won't be any problem with this. Yeah, Two we, months we, later. We hit enough oh. cards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem for us. Um, yeah, that's probably what I see going. Hopefully we'll see a ban list drop before we finish recording this video. We'll check it at the very end. Um, yeah, that 60 card deck's probably going to get hit. Will they hit a Melfi deck? Will they hit Melfi? Pearly? Pearly, that's it. They're you just, did that last week as yeah, well. Because it's the they're, same thing. They're fucking not. It's the same thing. <laughs> just aren't. How are they not the same thing? I've said this, okay. Pearly is fairy. Melfi is tri type. Actually, not even, just beasts. They're the same thing, though. They're not, though. Fairies can be beasts, but beasts cannot be fairies. So, in that respect, they're not the same thing. They are the same thing. Yes, they are. Jesus Christ. Melfi is pearly. Again, your brain just seems to turn off at certain junctions. And you're just like, Yeah, this no. is it. No, these are the same cards. They are all the same cards. Mix anyway, them together, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to see exactly what happens in the OCG ban list very soon. So, we'll keep an eye on that and let you know if news comes through. In the meantime, we move on to some announcements for Duelist Nexus for the TCG. Yay! Uh, so we have an official date. release date of July 27th. I can play Dinosaurs at that date. I'm going to mark it on my calendar. Oh, dinosaurs! Um, so the main theme of this next set seems to be Synchro Summoning, because they're talking a lot about 5Ds. Yes. I can't remember if we've actually seen we anything. Have. Yeah. We have. Okay. They got the new, uh, it's actually popping up in a few decks in the OCG from what I was looking at earlier. Um, there's like a new Jet Synchron, I'm not Jet Synchron, uh, the boxy dude, there's a new one of him floating around in a whole bunch of decks. So, yeah. What? The box dude. The box dude. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like one of the synchrons. He looks like a fridge. It's fridge synchron. That's it. Or is it washing machine synchron? Anyway. Um, so we've obviously got that. We've got the Infernoble support that's coming as well. Um, uh, what else? Uh, the Evolzers, which we've talked about. Yes. Uh, and the... Oh, we have a TCG name for the Dream Archetype. Um, Nemleria. So rather than Nemorelia... It's now uh, Nemleria. There's no difference. There's about two syllables difference. In terms of difference, there is none. This is just like Melfi and Pearly. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Anyway, the most <laughs> literally the difference. The most exciting thing about this so far is that we are getting quarter century rares in this set. In total, we are getting twenty five of them. That's really strange. Why is that? So, like, are we still getting starlets? So, the card breakdown is 50 commons, 26 supers, 14 ultras, 10 secrets. So, it seems like, similar to the OCG, that these are replacing the starlights in the run while they're doing the quarter century. But we, they didn't do that for the first set of the quarter century. No, no, of course not. So yeah, why would they think about this ahead of time? No, it's the TCG. Thinking? <laughs> Turns out there wasn't actually starlights in that most recent set. They were 25th century's rares. Oh, I have a 25th century rare Mirror Jade. You certainly oh, do. I didn't mention that in my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. I got a Starlight Mirror Jade today and a uh, Collector's Rare Avramax. I will say the Avramax kind of looks shit. I but mean... I got it to maintain Max Rarity Mech Knights. <laughs> okay, that, that's logical. That checks out. I, um, I want Collector's Rare Rotor. But it's impossible to find in Australia apparently. Oh yeah, because anyone that would get one would never sell it. Yeah, don't tag me. 
I don't want to pay for it. If you're gonna send it to me, if you're gonna send it get to him me, a by all means, a pre-stacked it... pack where he can pull it. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay for that pack. The same. The, the one pack. Imagine being the same amount. Like you still pay 110. And they're like, there's that, definitely and there's a here. really, really good chance that road is in this back end. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I can weigh the R. <laughs> There's like three R's in that sentence. It weighs a lot. I'm not, no, we're moving on. So, uh, we also have the announcement for the Battles of Legend, which comes out before Duelist Nexus, mm-hmm. which is kind of weird, but it's going back to the sort of original timeline, as we've said before. The so, good timeline, when it was needed. So we don't have anything, from what I can remember, I don't think we've got anything solid as to what's being announced, other than maybe the Dark Magician fusion thing. Um, but there isn't uh, pack art that's been released. Yes. Uh, so similar to some of the more recent stuff, they're doing what? like a scattering of monsters that are in the packs rather than just the single uh, card art for the entire set. From memory, do we get the cards that were in their like anniversary set? Maybe. But I didn't give a shit about any of those cards, no, so I don't remember cards. what they were. <laughs> so we don't have names for any of these, or at least not from this little thing I have here, but we have one that looks very much like a Neos fusion. Um, it's possibly that one that, like, um, you, like if it's like a fusion and a hero monster, and if it uses a vanilla hero, it gets to do an extra thing. Um, we have a guy that looks kind of like a zombie... He's got flames going off his shoulders and a bit of a robe thing going on. Have we gotten the OCG Vendred card yet? Or was that three years ago? No, no, we've ago? got that. It, yeah, okay. it wasn't quite that long ago. It's three but years it was... ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Dark Magician Fusion, which I mentioned. Uh, some weird thing that looks like um, those things in Harry Potter 2 that are like screaming in the pot and they pull them out in... Um, Mandrake? Pro- yeah, it looks like a Mandrake. See? Mandrake. It does actually, yeah, it does look like a fat-ass mandrake. Yeah, so it looks like a mandrake cat. Uh, and then we have what is almost definitely an Odd Eyes card of some description. That is Odd Eyes Ultimate Revolution Rebellion Dragon. I think it legitimately is very close to that name. Because <laughs> I remember it being announced, I think it's like Odd Eyes Rebellion uh, Xyz Dragon or something similar to that. Um, sorry, I forgot to put the Xyz into yeah, you forgot my sentence, sorry. can't, can't yeah. believe you. Uh, so yeah, that I one's coming it. out on the 23rd. From the announcement that I remember, that one also has Quarter Century Bears yes. in there. I'm assuming all the sets we're going to get this year will. Well, that's what my assumption is. Why now are there that no been... Quarter Century Bears in my uh, Tractor Trick starter deck? Uh, because they have tracking devices instead, so they can chase down all the pedophiles. Good thing I didn't buy them. Hmm. Hmm. I actually probably should buy that at some point. Really? After me complaining that I was going to buy them, and then I have the opportunity to buy them, I didn't buy them. Yeah, but then you decided to play cash instead, and now you feel no need to buy anything else. Yeah, because cash literally is just don't winning. have the need to play anything. <laughs> to buy anything. Like, just go, three? You having a beer on hand? One. Boop. Pass. Pass. Ah, oh, pass. That's one thing I can change about my branded deck when I go back to it, is I can just take the... Um, Nibiru's into the side. You're immediately they're doing care, Josh. <laughs> oh yeah, 100%. But look, I can deal with that. That's fine. I have things to deal with, Josh. Uh, yeah, a bit light on the news this week, if I'm honest. I don't that think... Is? Oh, hang on. Oh, there's an... Oh, no. It's for Go Rush. I saw a well, news thing. Oh, but there was a, there was a Rush Duel ban list. Oh, there was. Oh, you posted in the chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There was a rush dual ban list that yeah. happened. So before and the they OCG... banned one card I've heard of before. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? They would have banned Blue Eyes White Dragon, but it's one per deck. Uh, hang on, let me see if I can get the whole article up. While Jake brings this up, I find it really dumb that in that card game, there's just like random like staple boss monsters that kind of suck. That they're like, this is a one per deck. This is the legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon. One per deck. This is Dark Magician Girl. Believe me, despite the fact this card requires multiple, oh, that's one per deck. Dark Magician, one per deck. God forbid we have your Dark Magician Girl getting above 2,600. And that was my rant. Jake. Um, take I can't us find away. the entire article. It's a. Why'd you walk? 
It's I'm, right there. I looked for it. It wasn't there. Hit the lines in the top corner. Go ban list. There's like forbidden and limited lists if you hit the three lines in the top corner. What? Keep... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You won't give hang on. Me... hang on. Hang on. It's right there. Hang on. They ban like something. They ban they didn't actually ban any cards. I think they just limited a bunch of things and then semi limited one card. Is this the first oh, ban list for Rushdal? If so, comment it down below. Uh, news. If it's not, interesting. If it is, oh, hang on. very balanced game to have taken five years to give them a ban list. I'm stalling as much as I can here. Here we go. Jake's okay. just not, not... You not shut your open. fucking face. Okay, I have it. Now open. Uh. Okay. Now it's not loading. Now it's not loading. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, didn't ban anything. Um, oh, Christ. Everybody uh, need to stall please, again. I'm going to have to read from this. Please don't. Okay, so we have Ecusite Lilius, Barrier Statue of the Inferno. That was the card I knew before. Uh, Dragon Roll the Sushi Fairy. <laughs> don't know what that card does. Does it make your opponent buy your sushi? <laughs> this game is ridiculous. Uh, Necromade Nana. Don't uh, know what that card is. Thunderbolt of the Blazing Dragon. Uh, Ecusite Scramble. Secret Order and Magical Stone Excavation. That's another That's card. That's another I know card that I know. Adds back spell card from Grave. And then semi limited, we have uh, Progress Potter. I was going to play Potters too. I was going to get Harry and. You're a wizard, Harry. The others. <laughs> the <laughs> others. Go, go Progress Potter. I couldn't possibly think of Hermione. Did you ever have that? Hermione Potter? Yeah, yeah. So before the movies came out and people were just reading the name Hermione. The amount of people that thought her name was Hermione. Hermione Potter. No, no, no. Just Hermione. That's the equip spell in the archetype, Jake. It's not one of the main monsters. They're all potters. <laughs> anyway, it, the next Ron's list the field uh, spell. will be in for July 1st. So it seems that Rush Tools is going to be going Having on the same procedure. No, no, no. Well, yeah, multiple banners. But also it's going to follow the same thing of like it comes in this state and this state and this state I'm going to do some research after this and find out just how many ban lists they've had because I think it's zero uh, no they had one earlier this year as well oh they did? yeah because that's Damn. the one that I pulled up the first time when you were stalling I was trying to find it uh... and it said oh Russell ban list I'm like oh that's it oh no January that doesn't work <laughs> I'm not curious as to what we're going about January but instead what's the next point of news is there not anything left? no? Um, I'll do another quick, quick check to see if it's been update the Update the ban list page. It no. 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 As they say in Spain. Fissure. Anyway. Uh, so we'll move on to some questions. So if you weren't aware, we do have a link in the uh, description below for our Discord. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us some questions. So our first question this week comes from a new listener. Uh, his name is Jason, but otherwise known as Falcon Waffles. Uh, first off, big fans, really enjoying the content. Second, he's a hero player. I know what's wrong with me in brackets. Um, but I'm struggling for my side deck and hand traps for the main deck for YCS London, uh, which is next week, by the way. The, um, the 2050th YCSs are all happening next weekend. Yep. So very keen to watch that. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, uh, Jason slash Falcon Waffles. Um, so, uh, is he playing heroes? He is playing heroes, so he's struggling to work out what hand traps and things he's going to have in his main. So the I'm main the side, is it not main? Is it main side? Main. So okay. this would be my thought. Yep. The first thing you need to understand is that heroes is not a going first deck; it's going second deck. Your yes. OTK. Yes. And. That way you're just playing through all the hand traps. Yes. Uh, the good thing is, unless... Uh, actually, people could be playing Nibiru, so... Mm. Touch yes. and go. Um, so, I, if I were going second playing Heroes right now, I'd be playing the Kaijus. biggest... Kaijus is good. Um, Droll, I think, is also solid. That is also good, yes. Because uh, you want to halt your opponent as much as possible. Possibly Lancia's as well. No, no. Lancia's doesn't, isn't universal enough. Uh... I wouldn't main evenly matched. The seal in the bathroom decided to get really uh, out of hand there. He's, yeah, we're talking about heroes. He's very passionate about heroes. And because he's a toilet, is... it makes sense. Because yes. <laughs> heroes are shit. <laughs> that's, that's upsetting, Jake. 
Anyway, um, yeah, so you need to pick, like, the biggest buyer cards. Ash, I just... Like, if you're super paranoid about Brandon... I'd, you play, could... I'd play Ash. You mean, Doug? It's just not high impact enough. I'd play Ash Impa. Depending on how much space you have, I think there's some Kaijus, Ash Impa, um, Droll. Um, oh, I don't think you're going to have a space for 12. Oh, that's um, here, you? And you're going second, so you can afford not to run some of the garbage. That's what I'd throw at you. Those 12 mm. good cards going in the main deck at the moment. Um... Or maybe Nib. I'd, I'd probably side Nib. Definitely side Nib. Yeah, and maybe have some crossouts so that when you do get Nib, do you have the crossout for it? <laughs> no, we don't have space in the deck for that. Not in the main deck, for the side deck. You're going second. If you get Nibbed, they've lost their shit too. Yeah, but then if you're going second playing Heroes, there's no way they're not making you go first. Dark Lore. Dark Lore, unfortunately, isn't a, a cure-all. Especially reversing Cash Tira. No, oh no, my stuff's banished. Whatever will I do? Anyway, birth. <laughs> yeah. It's accurate. Next question, Jake. Next question comes to us from... Oh, that's a lot of words. Um, here we go. 6 size 6 uh, Given in the past Konami has banned players from social media videos... Uh, how important is it to have a judge involved in matches that get posted online now with the new policy rules? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Just let people in the comment section do the rulings. Yeah, I mean, that's how you so, get most of your engagement. Solely how I operate it, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Chuck whoever you want on camera. They'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's people on the internet. They're always going to find something. And the thing is, it depends on how egregious it is of a thing and what's actually at stake as to whether it's actually that important. Look, could be me putting fucking Pot of Duality back in my hand after I activate it. Did that once. My opponent said... Uh, I had I shifted, and he was like, uh, well, that's not going to Graveyard. And I was like, no, it's not, and put it back in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That was funny. Well, you're right. It didn't go to Graveyard. <laughs> didn't go to Graveyard. I didn't lie to my opponent. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, next question comes to us from Rai Guy. Uh, after listening to the Master Duel Invitational episode, what do you like, dislike about certain new YouTubers? Uh, yeah, I was supposed to watch that in order to do research because I definitely forgot on the day to actually watch it. I don't like thumbnails with reacty faces in them. I find them cringe. Isn't that all of our thumbnails? With re reaction faces? I don't make those thumbnails. <laughs> Brian does those thumbnails. So you've never watched back in an episode, is that what you're telling me? No, I've watched back in the episodes. Well, yeah, I just other don't than screen cap. Edit. I'm not there to screen cap. Um, anyway, uh, I also don't like MBT. Don't know why. Also, he, yeah, he just used my content the other day. Um, yeah, for all of like three seconds, not even three seconds, and also he didn't do the editing. It, he has someone else do his editing. You know what? Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't like MBT. I don't know why. I, I just find him annoying. I don't find him funny. And I get that he's trying to be funny, and I'm like, this guy just annoys me. I don't know why. There's definitely a point about like. Fairly also, mm -hmm. all, so I think this is it so all of his content seems to be him trying to get as much across to you as possible as quickly as he can but he fucking sucks <clears throat> I'll give you that he's not the best player around like I, I can get if like a super big brain Yu-Gi-Oh player is like trying to convey to you something as quickly as they can I can get behind that but when someone's like here's how to go X7 at a YCS <laughs> Go. It's like, okay. Thanks, MBT. Um, yeah, wait, was he even in the Invitational? I don't think he was, was he? I don't know any of the people that were in the Invitational, because remember they were, they were all like... Because we asked what we don't like about YouTubers. I don't I like think, MBT. I, I think it was Sorry, more, again. I, I think it was more, more so to do with the people that this were involved in the Invitational. Controversial opinion. <laughs> Um, yeah, I really should watch it, um, more so to see what decks they were playing. So I watched a Team APS video the other day. Yeah. And by watched the Team APS video, had it on in the background while I was listening because it showed up my YouTube recommended and it had a really clickbaity thumbnail. Um, title. It was like, why don't we play meta? And I was like, 
Oh, I remember why I stopped watching Team APS four years ago. <laughs> yeah, and again, they're nice guys, they're fine. But, yeah, super yeah, nice people. But they just make, like, real casual content. Yeah, and that's okay. That's fine, there's, that's a, mar- there's a market for that. Perfectly fine. There's a market we make super casual content, and just for the casuals, I'm going to offer you some advice. If you offer Sengen or Witch of the Black Forest for Cannon Soldier's effect, they won't. Uh, then you won't run out of monsters. You can offer Sengen and use its effect to search Witch of the Black Forest and continue this many times to do tons of damage. And that is my word of wisdom. Prima. Yes. Prima. I am Ben Prima. I've never heard of this company before in my life. Have you never heard of Prima before? No. They made, like, all the game guides, like, 20 years. They went out of business, like, five years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that's how good they are, are they? Well, they made this in 2003, and they were still operating in 2018, so they did something right. <sighs> uh, but, yeah, I will watch that and get back to this question, I think. Because uh, I, I do kind of want to see what the I coverage was like, what don't the quality like was like. <laughs> He wasn't involved! Stop bringing up MVT! <laughs> I don't know why. He I wasn't like in MVT there! So he had nothing to do with the Invitational! <laughs> what if you handed out the invites? It's like we go to a fucking Chinese restaurant and I'm like, oh, Ben, what are you gonna have? I don't know, but I hate brisket. <laughs> what if they had brisket? They don't! They sell hot Brisket's chips. not involved! They sell hot chips, G! <laughs> <laughs> and they have a ratatouille! Uh, what movie do you want to see? I don't know, but I don't want to watch the Cirque du Soleil. They have that on the uh, theater sometimes. No, no, they don't. They shut do. up, shut up, shut they up, genuinely shut up, do. shut up. No, they don't. Crowbat 5 asks, uh, What is your favorite polymerization or fusion summoning card to play? So as a hero player. We're catering way too much to hero players. Yeah, we've turned into a hero question and it's a podcast. Um, however, even though random none sidebar, of us look like heroes. Random sidebar of our lives. There's a Q&A for Cockroach Knight in here. And it doesn't tell us how it worked in the game. Yeah, because no one knows how it worked in the game. <laughs> yeah, true. I can't remember how it worked in the game, actually. What I don't the know, fuck we monster is that? Oh, I remember this guy. This is... <laughs> uh, not the stuff of the page. <laughs> <laughs> Even at a cursory glance, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not any of those. Yeah, it's not Amoeba. <laughs> um... I don't know, but I used to think this guy was cool. Oh, is that Electro Whip? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Anyway, oh, um, there's a page in the middle. <laughs> so yeah, uh, what is your favourite uh, fusion uh, or poly play? Uh, as a hero player, he likes Miracle Fusion, but he also likes to use Albaz's effect on board. I like to activate Dragon Maid Changeover. Uh, have my opponent negate it. Then return Dragon Maid Changer from Grave back to hand and use it again. That's my favorite fusion play. Ah, <sighs> God. Um, my favorite fusion card. I know Super Poly does go kind of hard. I do like Super Poly. Frappers before Frappers. Oh wait, is there a Q and A for Poly in here? Polymerization. If polymerization is countered by Magic Jammer, what happens to the fusion materials that I offered as tribute? Offering fusion materials is not a cost, so they either remain on field or in hand. Now we've clarified that, we can continue. Some people need that clarification, even to this day. Yes. <laughs> you learn things on this podcast about fusing your hero monsters. Um, my favourite time that I've ever used Super Poly, I was versing Josh of all people. Yes. Um, so this was back in Invoke Days. So I normal summon Alistair, activate effect. He goes Artifact Sanctuary in yes. order to summon his uh, Scythe from deck. Oh. He activates the Scythe. I activate the Super Poly, turn the Scythe into a Macabre, and then start... Gah, 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 gah. <laughs> that would be cute. That would be really cute. I had a lot of fun at the time. I got Super Poly the other day all night, and I'm fairly sure I got attempted Super Poly the other day, and I just looked at my opponent, I was like, there's no legal target in the game. <laughs> And then they check their deck and like, you sure? I remember That's you right. telling me about this. Yeah. I think it was, um, that guy. It's that guy. He's something no, no, something. <laughs> I don't know. That's a family guy reference. Sure. You could be that guy too. 
No. Uh, <laughs> he thought that was a ban list. I'm checking. I'm checking again. What's the next question? Are we out of questions? That's it for questions. What time is it? It is 6.50. We can't stall for 10 minutes. Stalling for 10 minutes is too much. Hmm. Hear me out. We're going to end the podcast now. And if the band list drops in the next 10 minutes, we'll be back. Okay? We're not going to make you wait 10 minutes. Unless you want to listen to me read everything from this book. Um, so, Christ. where are we going to start? The torture um, will never end. The Duelist's Bible. These are the most useful monster cards in the game. These are actually... This is, yeah, this is actually genuinely good advice. No wonder Prima stayed in business for so long. Um, all of these cards have been on the ban list at some point, apart from Summon Skull. Um, again, just all good cards and good trap cards. You know what? Go to your local uh, bookshop and purchase uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game Why rule book. you say Yu-Gi-Oh! read? Because it's a little blurry. Yu-Gi-Oh! 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 That's 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 the noise they make at the start of the show. I was just making that noise, you know, when it goes. That's actually a guy just saying Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> through a piece of Swiss cheese. Jeez. Why are we still going, Jake? You were meant to stop me here. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is kind of fun. Um, what other nonsense do you want to spout at us? There's a strong and meek combo. Uh, if your opponent is using an equip spell oh, card on a monster, trap. reverse trap will lower its attack and defense. However, if your opponent is not playing equip spell cards, reverse trap is there is useless. Therefore, if you have your own equip spell cards, you can equip them to your opponent's monster with it, then use reverse trap to weaken the monster. If it's weak enough to then kill it with reverse trap if you equipped it to your opponent's monster, it was strong enough that you could have equipped it to your own monster and killed it anyway. Unless you gave it that, that is true. stupid one that's like increase its attack by 700 but then you lose life points or something, something, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, well, this one just equips to a warrior and increases its attack and defense by 300. Perfect. Um, however, there is something here they call the sniper combo. So it involves Patrol Robo, Stop Defense, and Fissure. Oh yes. Perfect three card combo. <laughs> Use this combo when you don't know if your opponent's face down monster is an effect monster or a monster with the highest defense. First use Patrol Robo's effect to look at your opponent's face down monster. Then if it has a high defense, uh, use Stop Defense to force it into face up, then destroy it with Fissure. That's a three card combo to out one set card. Hey, Giant Soldier of Stone doesn't stand a chance against stop defense. You also get to attack directly with your patrol robo. So that's a combo that does 1100 attack damage. Of... Oh, patrol robo is 1100? Yep. It's big a blood. Big boy. Um, what other combos do we have in here? DNA Surgery and Insect Barrier. That's actually a... That's key, a classic. That's a key combo. Um, the Immortal Thunder and Hain Hain. Immortal Healing Power Combo. Flip, you gain 3,000 life points. After this card is... Did you forget how to read? No, I just think they forgot how to write a model of thunder. I'm just going to read this word for word. Flip, you gain 3,000 life points. After this card is flipped, you lose 5,000 life points when this card is sent... Oh, okay, it's, it's just... It's just one poor of those. wording. Yeah, okay. And then you hang hang, you pop it. So you go, flip, gain, flip, bounce, set. Yeah, we're good. Combo. Infinite health combo. Infinite. Oh, the model thought it thunders down the level 4. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like an 8 that required tributes. Hmm. If you and both your opponent have appropriates, then you draw a card by some effect, it causes an infinite loop. Count how many cards remain in your opponent's deck in your deck. If you have more cards than your opponent, uh, you win. <laughs> That's dumb. Yeah. Jake, let's main. Let's both main appropriate. What if everyone mained appropriate? Are we gonna end this and then we'll come back? Yes. Um. Thank you all very much for watching this segment of the podcast. We may or may not be back soon. Um. But feel free to leave your questions in our Discord link will be in the description. Um. If you're listening to us, favorite us. If you're watching us, like and subscribe. And we will catch you all next time, or maybe soon. Bye. No matter.